गेट 2019 मेटलॉजिकल इंजीनियरिंग क्वेश्चन 41 स्टडी स्टेट रेडियल हीट कंडक्शन थ्रू अ होलो इनफिनिटली लॉन्ग जिरकोनिया सिलेंडर इज गवर्न बाय फॉलोइंग ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन दैट इज 1 बाय r इनटू d बाय dr ऑफ r इनटू k dt बाय dr इक्वल टू 0 वेयर t इज द टेंपरेचर r इज द रेडियल डिस्टेंस The inner surface of the hollow cylinder is maintained at 1473 Kelvin and outer surface at 973 Kelvin. The rate of heat loss per unit length through the outer surface of hollow cylinder in watt per meter is it is given that the inner radius of the cylinder is 0.05 meter outer radius of cylinder is 0.07 meter and thermal conductivity of zirconia is 2 watt per meter per kelvin so the problem looks somewhat like this here you can see a cylindrical body with inside radius as r1 outside radius as r2 inside temperature as t1 and temperature of the outside surface as t2 having length l okay and the heat conduction through this body is governed by the following equation that is 1 by r d by dr r k dt by dr equal to equal to 0 or you can write it like this also d by dr of r into k dt by dr Equal to zero because one by r cannot be equal to zero because one by r cannot be equal to zero. So d by this expression is equal to zero because this cannot be equal to zero. So this is the ordinary differential equation. What are the boundary conditions for this problem? The first boundary condition is temperature. at r equal to r1 that is the temperature of inside surface is is t1 equal to what is given is 1473 kelvin likewise temperature of outside surface at r equal to r2 the temperature is given to be 973 kelvin now in order to calculate the rate of heat loss per unit length we need to solve this ordinary differential equation in order to solve this ordinary differential equation we need to integrate it two times because there are, there is double derivative okay so upon integration equation 1 with respect to r we will get r dt by dr equal to c1 C1 is integration constant, or dt by dr is C1 by. Now we will again integrate this equation. Let us call this equation as equation two. Now upon integrating equation two with respect to r, we will get t is nothing but C1 natural log of r plus where C1 and C2 are integration constant, whose value we need to find and these values we will find by applying boundary conditions let us call this equation as equation 3 applying boundary conditions in equation 3 we get temperature at radius equal to r1 that is the Uh, inside surface it is nothing but t1 equal to c1 natural log of r1 plus c2 okay likewise temperature at r equal to r2 that is t2 c1 natural log of r2 plus c2 okay 
So here we have two equations and two unknowns C1 and C2. So we can solve them simultaneously. So upon solving them, the value of C1 comes out to be T2 minus T1 upon ln R2 by R1. Similarly, the value of C2 comes out to be similarly the value of C2 comes out to be T1 minus T2 minus T1 upon natural log of R2 by R1 into natural log of R1. Now if you substitute the value of C1 and C2 in equation 3 and rearranging it, we will get the variation of temperature within the pipe and it's come out to be temperature as a function of radius comes out to be now in equation star now in equation star you can put any value of radius r and it will tell you the temperature at that particular radius okay where r r varies from r1 to r2 but in this problem we are not required to find temperature at any radius. We are required to find the heat loss through this pipe per unit length. Okay? So the rate of heat loss from this pipe is simply the total rate of heat conduction through the pipe. And it is determined from the Fourier's law. Okay? The Fourier's law tells you that for a cylindrical object, for a cylindrical geometry, According to Fourier's law, it is dt by dr. Okay. Now, what is dt by dr? dt by dr is nothing but equation two. What is equation two? Equation two is equation two is here it is. dt by dr is c1 by r. So you can write it as minus k a c1 by r. Now, what is the value of c1? The value of C1 is determined to be T2 minus T1 upon natural log of R2 by R1. So, we will put the value of C1 and we will get the value of R. So, we will put the value of C1 in this expression and we will get the value of heat loss. What is the area, surface area? It is nothing but 2 pi Rn. C1 is T2 minus T1 upon natural log of R2 by R1. R1 okay, into R. So this radius will take away this radius and the simplified form of heat loss from the cylindrical tube is minus 2 pi KL T2 minus T1 upon natural log of R2 by R1. Since we are interested in finding heat loss per unit length, so we we can take length on the left hand side. Now the numerical value of rate of heat conduction through the pipe per unit length, it can be determined by substituting the values of thermal conductivity, the inside and outside temperature, the inside and outside radius. So Q by L comes out to be minus 2 pi. What is the thermal conductivity? It is 2 watt per meter per Kelvin. What is T2 minus T1? T2 is nothing but 1473 Kelvin. Yeah. What is T2? T2 is nothing but 973 Kelvin. What is T1? That is the inside temperature. It is 1473 Kelvin. Upon natural log of what is R2? R2 is 0 0.07 meter and it inside radius is 0 0.05 meter. So, the difference will be negative, outside there is negative, so the expression will be positive. So, upon solving this equation, the amount of heat loss per unit length comes out to be 18,664 watt per meter. So, the rate of heat loss per unit length through the outer surface of the hollow cylinder is 18,664 watt per meter. Now, to know more about the concept of steady state heat conduction through a cylindrical geometry, 
Kindly refer lecture 14, Conduction and Convection Heat Transfer by Prof. Suman Chakrabarti and Prof. S.K. Som, Department of Mechanical Engineering, IIT Kharagpur. Thank you.